Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I will show you how you can fix the iCloud login not working after the bypass with the free tool that is the FRP or F3 Rain. If you face some issues after the bypass, like your iCloud login is not working in the free method because it's a free services, so some service will not work. But in this video, I will show you exactly how you can fix that and easily do the iCloud login working in these devices that are completely free. So just follow the same step by step process so let me just go to my computer screen and start this process all right first let me tell you the requirement first you will require a already iCloud bypass device with the f3 rain method or frp both are free tools so you can try that and easily bypass your device for free and next you will require a additional iphone or ipad that is normal not a iCloud bypass device you can copy the activation log from that device and easily paste it in the device that is already bypassed. So that means the device need to be jailbroken with a check ring. So the, all the iPhones, iPad or iPod models that supported with a check ring jailbreak like iOS 12 to the 14.8.1, iPhone 5s to iPhone X are supported. So you will require to jailbreak both these devices. After that we will take the backup of that device and after that we will restore it in the already iCloud bypass device. So for the jailbreak you can try the windows method or if you are a mac user you can try directly run the check ring that is more easy. So for this process I am having my mac so I will try to jailbreak it on that so that it will save the time. Alright now both the devices has been jailbroken one is the already iCloud bypass device and another one is a normal iPhone. So now let me just go to my Windows system again. Now next open the FRP free tool. You will get all these links from the description or go to my blog and download all the links from there and the password is FRP file. Now first you need to connect your normal device so that we can take the backup of the iCloud and paste it in another already iCloud bypass device so you can see that the iCloud login is working in the normal iPhone and after you make the backup that will store and save in the same FRP tool directory so open that folder after that go to the account section you will get the zip file there but it will show after you make the backup currently it's empty so let me just first place the backup and make sure that your serial is registered so the registration is free in the free version if you don't know how to register just click on the free register button and after that paste your serial on the website and it will register for free or check out my detailed video in that i've explained each and everything about this new tool now next click on the backup account from another device button now wait for it to get complete so now you can see that the backup has been made in the tool directory and it's a zip file so your account backup has been made so you can check out that now everything is set we are ready to place the backup in the already iCloud bypass device so now this time connect your device that have been already bypassed with the f3 rain or frp tool both are supported 
So now connect the device. And I have already registered both these devices. So you can register with a free button. After that open your setting and stay on this screen. Now click on that option that is to activate with the backup restore account. Now tool will ask you to select the account backup. Select the same directory and select the backup that have been made from the previous device. Now you can see within some seconds and it's done. Now just go back and clear out the settings and after that reopen and you will see your actual login is there. So now you can see that my actual login is successfully entered in that. First time it will ask you for the actual account password. So enter the actual account password that I've been for your device and now you can see the device is activated with the actual account. But still we have one step left to complete. We need to also fix the iCloud login service so that the iCloud storage will show and all the iCloud services will get like the iCloud backup and the other stuff. So let me just show you how you can do that. First thing you will see the it's showing unable to store it. That means we need to fix that. So now open the FRP tool again. Make sure your device is jailbroken. Now this time you need to select the fix iCloud service and the notification. I have not tested the notification that is working or not but the iCloud service will fix. Now click on that. Now wait for it to get complete. It will fix all your iCloud services related issues like iCloud login, iCloud backup is not working, keychain and everything will fix. Now it's done. Now click on OK and disconnect your device and open the settings. Now open your iCloud account again. Now this time you will see it will fully activate it. If you go to the storage setting, you will see the storage is also loading. So that means it's completely fixed and you will see all the features are here and you will see all my devices are also showing. So this is how you can completely fix the iCloud login issue with the free way in the FRP tool or F3 Rain method. You can try this method it's completely free and the method is completely untethered like if you reboot the device everything will work after the reboot also and if you want the sim services and other facetime and other stuff you need to use the pay tool i've already made so many videos on that so you can check out from the description link so now you can see everything is good so this is how you can use this trick and easily fix the actual login issue so i will see you in the next video so till then goodbye take care and peace out